Hey, I'm Adam. I'm the founder of Adam's Polishes, and I've been detailing and cleaning cars for over 40 years. In fact, I've been teaching it for over 20 years. It's not like you just jump into detailing and start polishing your car and ceramic coating it. In fact, when we teach detailing, we gotta start with the basics. And what's the thing you do the most to your car? It's gonna be washing it, right? A really outstanding process for washing and drying your vehicle will actually maintain that perfect finish for a long time. So as you know, we're huge on education here at Adams Polishes. Helping you achieve excellence is what we're all about. Now, I wanna give you just a few tips on some products that you need that are absolutely essential to maintaining a perfect finish. What is the must have, most important tool in your entire detailing arsenal? If you are gonna get your paint perfect, you're gonna to wanna to wash it in a way that doesn't scratch it. That's why a pressure washer is an absolutely essential tool. It removes more dirt with less scrubbing. And the less scrubbing means less scratching. We have our professional unit here, and we have our home use product here, which is also outstanding. What makes them different than the, you know, the standard units you'd go buy from Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever? Those are good for about a season and you'll start seeing them fall apart, okay? You get what you pay for on those. Now, when it comes to the gas powered units, you can get 3,500, even 5,000 PSI. Do you need that much? Well, maybe you do if you're pulling up gum off of sidewalks on public streets and in, in, in public areas. That's probably not what you're gonna do with yours. In fact, 2,000 to 2,500 PSI is quite a lot. The other thing you're gonna love about our units is, you notice the sound right now? The pressure washer is on. It's totally silent until you pull the trigger, okay? So this is not gonna annoy all of your neighbors. Should you be afraid of a pressure washer? Are you worried about pulling paint off your car? If you stay 16 to 24 inches away from your car, you're not gonna have any problems. Stay away from any vinyl graphics that might be lifting or any of the clear film that might be lifting. Outside of that, you're not gonna cause damage. When you go to clean your engine compartment, I would 100% never use a garden hose. That's just putting too much water into your engine compartment, potentially flooding the computer uh, connections. Anything like that is just gonna be bad news for your engine. Your dashboard could light up like a Christmas tree. So once you've got a pressure washer in your world, you're not gonna only wash your cars, okay? You're for sure gonna find that it is a way more effective way of blasting out old nastiness out of your rain gutters. It's definitely the way to pull nastiness off of your driveway. Number one on the must have tools for your car cleaning and detailing, it's for sure a pressure washer. Now, number two is a foam cannon filled with a premium soap. So besides being extremely satisfying, foaming your vehicle down is extremely important for several reasons. One, it reduces scratches. Two, it stops water spotting. Using a premium soap makes me have no fear. Right now, it's 102 degrees. I should not be wearing a black shirt. It is that hot and I am not worried at all. This is a perfectly safe process to use. Using car shampoo, direct sun, black vehicle, and I'm gonna go ahead and wash it now. When I'm washing a vehicle that I just foamed, you can feel how slippery the wash pad is. It's gliding over the finish. No abrasion really means no scratching. So it's critical not to show instant scratches after a wash, right? So the next most important thing that you absolutely must have when you're washing and drying your vehicle, I can't even sell it to you. It's called shade. And if you don't have any shade, make sure that you're going for a super early AM or a late, late PM wash and dry on hot days, okay? On hot days, you have to accelerate your entire process and it makes it a little more tricky. So I have a wet vehicle, all clean, and before it starts water spotting, I'm gonna go to the next most important thing and it sure as heck is not a chamois. That is definitely not the tool that you want, all right? But what you do want is a little bit of the detail spray and our ultra plush drying towel. Now watch as I go around the vehicle with a detail spray and just give it a quick mist. If it's cold out, 
I would go ahead and start with a blower. However, since it's hot, I wanna make sure and dry the vehicle as quickly as possible. Now our ultra plush towel has two sides, sort of the furry side and the finer side. I like to use the fine side for doing some perfect vehicles like that. And when I'm doing huge boats or big white or light color things, I will go furry side the whole thing. You're gonna notice that the detail spray acts like a shine agent. So a little bit extra rubbing to make sure it comes out perfect is all you need. Using this process will save you time, eliminate water spots, and look at the shine. All right, so after a thorough towel dry, this towel's pretty wet. For a vehicle this big, I use two of these suckers. Normal size vehicle, just one ultra plush towel. What this towel and no towel will do is get the water out of all the nooks, the crannies, the creases, the mirrors, the cowl, there's no way. So why is the air cannon the third most important tool in your entire car washing and drying toolbox? Well, you've seen it. You've driven next to those cars that have all the water stains that just pour out of the mirrors down the rear tailgate. The air cannon is an extremely effective tool that eliminates that water, but most people do leaf blower. It moves a, a volume of air that is four and a half or five inches in diameter, and it moves it somewhat slowly as in to blow leaves. It doesn't blow water out of the creases nearly as effectively as you want to. Watch the hose grow. Boom. That's moving water. Not only is this filtered air, this is also heated air, so it helps dry even more effectively. Comes in real handy in the winter. This sucker, dual motor, 30 foot expandable hose, hangs in the wall with a little optional hanger. Just like anything that you start to get into, whether it be hunting or fishing or gardening or any kind of DIY project, the more you do it, the better you get. Don't feel like your detailing process and your detailing product collection needs to be 900 products big instantly. Start with a few basics, grow it slowly, and choose wisely, especially your essentials. Thanks for watching. I'm Adam, and again, I'm here to answer questions and help you discover your shine potential and get your therapy on in the garage the way I do literally every day.